Hello friends, this video on factorization part 5 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's move on to the type 4, that is factors of the form x plus a into x plus b. So what is, what, what is this type basically? Now sometimes in certain cases, you come across an expression with three terms where two terms are not perfect squares. So even though one term is a perfect square, but the other term might not be a perfect square. So this form looks very much similar to a plus b whole square form, but it is not exactly that form. So uh, do you remember the special identity which we had learned in algebra? That is when you have something in this format x plus a into x plus b, this is equal to x squared plus a plus b into x plus ab. So this is the special identity that we had learned. So now we will apply this identity. So for that, let's take an expression. So let us suppose you have this expression p squared plus 6p plus 8. So when you look at this expression, it has three terms. The first term is a perfect square, but the last term is not a perfect square. So therefore, it doesn't fit into the uh, standard identity of a plus b whole square. It doesn't fit into that. So what do we do? But in this case, if you look at it more closely, it fits into this format. So p square plus this 6 can be written as 4 plus 2 p and 8 can be written as 4 into 2. Right? That is, this is the same format. x, x square plus a plus b into x plus a into b. So such that, now if you compare this expression, so if you compare this with this standard expression, what do you see? For us, a is equal to 4 and b is equal to 2. So this expression is of the same format, just that the value of a is 4, the value of b is 2 and the value of x is p in this case, right? So therefore, this equation can be written as x plus a into x plus b. So x is p here. So p plus a into p plus b. So this is the factor form of the given expression. Pretty simple again. But this time you need to make sure that you are able to identify which expression is in which expression you have to apply which identity. That is most important. So now based on all the four types that we discussed, let us try to let's try a few questions uh, where we have to factorize algebraic expressions. So question number one, find the common factors of the given terms. So you are given three terms here and you have to find out the common factors. Okay, so 6ABC, how can we write this? 6 can be written as 2 into 3, ABC can be written as A into B into C. 24AB square, how can we write this? 24 can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 into 2. AB square can be written as A into B into B. Third is 12a square b. So this can be written as 2 into 2 into 3 that is 12. a square is a into a and b is b. So this is how we can write. So we have basically written all the three terms in the factor form, in the form of its factors. So now let us look for the common factors. 2. So 2 is a common factor. It is present in all of them. What about 3? 3 is again a common factor which is present in all of them. A. A again is a common factor in all of them. B. B also is a common factor. And C. Is it there? Well, C is not there in all of them. So now, if you list down the common factors, which are the ones? 2, 3, A and B. So these are the common factors. Now make sure that whenever you are trying to find out common factors of three terms, the common factor is that one which is present in all the three of them. For example, if you look at uh, B, so okay, so B, only one B is present in all of them. Now let's say if two Bs were present in all of them, in that case B square would have been a common factor for all of them. 
right now for example c c is present in one of them or if even if c is present in two of them so c is still not a common factor because it is not present in the third term so in order to become a common factor that particular factor must be present in all the terms <coughs> so let's look at the next set of three terms so here we have 3x square y cube so this can be written as 3 into x into x into y into y into y the next term is 10x cube y square so this can be written as 2 into 5 into x into x into x into y into y the third term is 6x square y square z which can be written as 2 into 3 into x into x into y into y into z. Now again list out the common factors 3. So 3 is present in 2 terms but not all of them. So this is not a common factor. Similarly 2 and 5 they are also not present in all of them. What about x? Well x is present in all of them. What about one more x? So one more x is also present in all of them. What about y? y again is there in all of them one more y is also there in all of them what about z z is not there so if you ask about the common factors so which are the common factors x x y y so these are the common factors Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four-step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.